Hello, welcome to Lemon Series, where we talk anything and everything entertainment. I'm, of course, Lemon himself, Zeke Lemon, and this is my review for Episode 5 of She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. Or She-Hulk by Ty Tiana. I think that was the villain's name, I'm not sure. Uh, this one should be pretty quick. I don't really have a lot of notes on this episode. Um, you know, I said it, I basically got everything that I really need to be said on my, like, immediate reaction on TikTok, which is very rare. Because, you know, I'm like, oh yeah, no, I forgot to talk about this and talk about that. But this was, you know, I think a lot of people are going to call this filler. To me personally, I, I didn't see that. I, I personally didn't see that. But I can see as to why. Because we still don't know who the big bad is. Um, we, she's still kind of in the same zone. And this was really just about the case with Tatiana about getting the rights to the name She-Hulk, which we knew she was going to get. And my only real complaint about this episode is what took to like get to like oh yeah we're gonna win this took a little too long i get like you know you have structure of the show and you've got to make it seem like oh maybe she won't win because the because the court's like well we might we might sign with a defendant but even me who's not the smartest person in the world was just like use the dating profile <laughs> and then sure enough oh yeah like it, it took and the characters that they had are all very smart. I mean, the law, the lawyers. And I really, first of all, and the, you know, this is another side note. The law, the lawyer that uh, is representing Jennifer Walters comes in at first like, oh, can't believe uh, we're in this situation. And you know, she's like that friend who says, "I'm not mean. I'm just honest." But you actually believe it <laughs> because like yeah i mean she like she did she didn't say anything with a smile she was kind of me she, she it was it, it kind of comes off like damn man that's rude but like it's just br it's just brutally honest because she is very nice and I, and I like the scene with them at the bar having a quick drink of like yeah i'm so glad we're friends now and then and also that i mean but that's also like a structure of the show like was there always this beef because like i I swear, this is the first time we're ever meeting this lawyer. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, now you're friends all of a sudden just because you'll have one quick scene like that. That was, that's another like, very minor nitpick. But the main of the storyline, that's where I had like my real main issue was just like, y'all took a little a while to get to the point of the dating profile. Uh, but again, that's also a very minor nitpick as well. And I like the, I like the scene at like, the whole point of that scene that was so good because like there was a guy and you know I was talking about how heartbroken I was that like oh he wasn't good because like everything thought was really good he goes oh no I was really into She-Hulk but I really wasn't into Jennifer Walter she wasn't my type and I was just kind of like really I mean Jennifer pretty cute too <laughs> like you know I even said up so I was like She-Hulk kind of hot but you know Jennifer is not bad either because <laughs> uh, and you know just sometimes like. Hey, don't, because you could tell, like, it, it got to her, like, it got under her skin, and how, uh, the, I don't, I don't remember her name, I, I, honestly, I don't think they even said her name, but I don't remember her name, of, like, yeah, no, don't, don't listen to him, you, you can do better, you can do better, and, like, this whole scene, like, you know, as a guy, I don't, I don't realize these things that, that women go through, like, yeah, you know, she had to put herself through all that to really humiliate herself, and, you know, a guy usually doesn't have to deal with that. But a guy did have to deal with that in a few episodes back. So it was a good contrast to show like, okay, yeah, karma or something like that. Um, this show also does a great job with not, with just great standout side characters. I already talked about the lawyer and, um, but <laughs> the designer, <laughs> absolutely Sydney with everything. To me, he was great. Because, like, I know that designer. Like, I, I know that designer. Like, it's played so real, but yet it's hammed up to the point where it's good enough with the comedy aspect of it. And, like, they just have, like, again, and, you know, like last week with Madison. Two ends, one Y, but it's not what you think. Like, I know that person. I know that party girl. I know that party girl. And it's just hammed up, but yet it's still played very real. And also, what I think a lot of people couldn't be really upset about is that, there was no cameo in this episode, but I, I didn't necessarily need it. And that end, the end uh, portion of it, I mean, that was basically a cameo in itself because next week, 
the main dog showing up, Daredevil, because you see the you see the new helmet, the yellow helmet. So we get an explanation as to why he has a new suit and he's not using the original red. But I also don't see Matt from like you know just from watching Daredevil on Netflix. I don't really see him going to that hairdresser. But hey, it's, it's a soft reboot of his character. Um, but yeah, and also no post credit scene. That was weird, but hey, it's okay. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed this episode. I'm, I'm really liking this show. It ain't my favorite. Um, Miss Marvel is still probably my favorite of the 2022s. Uh, but and overall, it is uh, WandaVision still. But I am enjoying this ride. I am wanting to get a clear indication of who the big bad is. And I think we'll finally get that where Daredevil comes in. And we'll have three episodes to really build up to that final fight. Um, because now she actually has her suit and her suits. <laughs> so... Uh, but yeah, if you like this video, give it a like, and if you have any thoughts on She-Hulk, please comment below and let me know what you think of what you theorize of what's going to happen next. And if you like me, hit that subscribe button, so I'm trying to grow into my YouTube career. We've got a couple of uh, movie reviews coming out this weekend, along with House of the Dragon and Rings of Power, which I know y'all just love me for right now. And that'll be it for me, guys. I'll see you next time at Limit Studios.